We um, recruited Paula, and the process is a little bit different in the sense that we don't really go deep into Kansas to get volleyball players, or we didn't back then. But when I saw Paula play, her athleticism was off the charts. If we could talk her into coming and redshirting a year, we knew we'd have a great person to fill the spot of another great middle who was going to graduate in a year, Jillian Orman. My impression of Paula's response to her red shirt year was that this is never going to happen to me again. I am going to take advantage of every opportunity I can during my red shirt year, watch the players ahead of me, and when it's my turn, I'm going to get on the court and take complete advantage of it. And she did. Her use of the red shirt year, Paula sat behind Julian Orman and watched how hard she worked and how you were supposed to play at this level and said, I can do that. Having Paula on my on my team was awesome. She, I, I just knew that I could set her anytime, anywhere, any way. Her specialty was the slide. That's when you you know go towards the right side off one foot, and it's kind of a basketball player specialty. She just go run a layup and hit it as hard as she can, and that kind of I think she kind of started that tradition of Central Missouri really being known for running slides and having middles that were dominant at running that, that slide. And it was so fun to set her because I knew that even if the ball wasn't perfect, she'd find a kill. Paula was just a beast on the court. You could look at her and her face and her determination and her, her focus on what was happening on the other side of the court before the play ever started was fantastic. And so her drive, her her work ethic during matches and games was just fantastic. She was going to take you, she was going to take the team, whether they wanted to go or not, in the direction that was going to help them the most. I would say Paula is very deserving of being in the UCM Hall of Fame. Um, she was a great teammate, she was a hard worker, she was a dominating force as a middle in the MIAA, which is one of the toughest conferences. And I'm blessed to be a teammate of hers and to be able to know Paula and I know she's had a great career since she's left UCM and I'm really proud of all that she's done. Paula deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because she has scored more points than any other Jenny in history. We've had a lot of really good volleyball players here and for Paula to be the the leader in the team points just playing front row. All of her points came from attacking and blocking and the fact that she leads our team an all-time in point scored, that alone is enough to put her in the Hall of Fame. She earned it and she deserves it. Paul, I'm very proud of you with this induction into the University of Central Missouri Hall of Fame. We can wear different colors as we change in our career, but once a Jenny, always a Jenny. Congratulations. Paula, I want to congratulate you and being back on campus, but primarily because when you're back today, you're here because you're going to be added to the Hall of Fame. It's a well-deserved honor. You worked so hard for it, and I'm glad to see that you got the rewards of all the hard work. Um, it'll be really fun seeing your, your name on the plaque in front of the athletic office when I walk by every day.